I know you think it's just not going to do that, but it'll do it every time. What's up, guys? Uh, the interns are back on the road today. I'm Griffin. This is Sophie. And today we're heading up to Clarington to complete the orchards, corn mazes, and sweet treats route. Uh, tell them a little bit more about that. Okay, so it's really exciting because it's a fall curated route, so it's going to show us all the best bakeries with like fall treats. Personally, I'm a big pumpkin spice girl, so I'll do anything that has some sort of pumpkin flavoring in it. We're also going to check out some orchards because apples are in season and some corn mazes. Looking forward to it. off the day which is Archibald Estate Winery Orchards. Um, they're open Friday, Saturday, Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Let's go check out some apples. Okay so the best thing about Archibald's Orchard is not only the great selection of apples but the fact that they have like an in-store shopping place too with lots of home goods and it's really well decorated in there too, very cottage core. And then they also have a winery so you can either come with your family and friends or you can just come with friends and go to the winery. Okay, so after browsing all the apples, I've finally decided on these Jonagolds. They look the best to me right now. Um, not that the other ones don't look awesome, but I'm a big fan of yellow apples. Come get a close-up shot of it on how beautiful these are. Well, it's very round, full. second stop of the day it's Bragg's Farm it's not open yet but it's opening weekend is the weekend of September 11th and 12th and you can come for potato picking there's tractor rides there's everything this is definitely a stop to make if you want to kickstart your fall season We're at our third stop of the day, which is Watson Farms. We're going to check out their apple orchards and then their market inside. It looks great. So the great thing about Watson Farms is not only do they have an awesome indoor market and supply of apples, but they also have this place where your kids can go and if you can see there's like livestock there and if I was a kid a little bit younger I would definitely be here all the time. So now we're going to go inside and buy some of their delicious apples. We'll let you know how it goes. All right, guys, we just picked up some Honeycrisp apples at Watson Farm. Uh, usually we're doing this with pizza, but today we're doing it with apples. So we're going to do a little one bite, uh, give you a little review. Clean that one up. Come on, wipe it down. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Very good. Stellar. <laughs> do you like it? Better than the other one? Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, it's good. It's got like a good sweetness to it. Yeah, know. and it's crunchy. Mm -hmm. I don't like the soft apples, so this like seems really fresh. It's so perfect. No, oh, it's great. I highly recommend. I think this is just up there with uh, Archibald's John Golds that we tried out. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty incredible. No, they're great. And look how many we got. It's more than just an apple here. It's like a huge farm experience. Uh, you can interact with uh, livestock. You can walk around, see the stuff growing. Uh, I think this is a great spot, honestly, and uh, yeah, especially for bringing your kids along too. It's like a great interactive farm. Mm -hmm. Definitely spend the day. On to the next one. Okay, so we're 
at our fourth orchard of the day. This is Algoma Orchards. And if you, Griffin, get in here. And if you look down this, it looks super like clean cut. It's great. It'd be the perfect place to go apple picking or even take pictures. Like I know there's people out there who want to take pictures in an apple orchard. And no, it's great. Um, it's just a great option for apple picking. Okay, so Algoma Orchards is just right on the outskirts of Bowmanville, while the other one was, well, the other three were kind of in deep. This one's right on the outskirts, so you can jump right from Bowmanville to Newcastle or something like that. See? This is what I mean. Take pictures with the apples. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> So this one actually is a pretty big warehouse. I think they also do like apple shipments um, and mass produce them, I guess. Um, I think Algoma is definitely a place to stop, especially if you want more of like a in nice industrial organized orchard. This is your stop. Newcastle now at Sift Bakery and it's an awesome spot for lots of fall treats. So we actually just went in there but they're closed so most of their product was off the shelf but we got a good look and tons of fall stuff. I saw some carrot flavored stuff, lots of pumpkin. It's a great spot. Just make sure you come before three o'clock. So we're at our next stop, which is Rome Coffee. This is another great spot. Their fall menu comes out within the next couple of days, so we, we will be coming back here for sure to get some of that. Um, it was beautiful inside. It was well decorated, and there was also like a little artisan store at the back where like local people could put all their homemade products. So no, it was great. All right guys, we just finished up at Rome Coffee and as you saw, we picked up a few things. This is our cold brew coffee and then chocolate chip cookies. We're gonna try them out, let you know how they are. Cheers. <laughs> oh, that's refreshing. That's really And that's refreshing. very high quality coffee. Especially at, when it's 30 degrees outside. A nice cold brew, yeah like. That's really good quality coffee. I drink a lot of coffee, this is good. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, chocolate chip cookie. Like, I know. It's insane. like your grandmother would make. Right here. Wow. Insane. Like, really fresh. Unreal. As you can see, like, we're not talking. <laughs> like, there's both, no words. Like, both things are seriously fresh. No words to describe it. It's like a very good mukbang. We're like Trish Paytas right now. I know. Okay, so this is our last stop of the day, and it's called the Deadly Grounds. It's awesome inside. Like, seriously, you have to come here. It's spooky themed. It's awesome. As you can see here, this is a gremlin from the movie Gremlins. I don't know if you've seen that. But right now we have the blue lemonade, and we're going to give it a try in the car. But it's, it's great in there. It's super spooky. They have references to horror films and, like, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Tons of great things. Definitely check it out. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm already stirring. She did say that if you did get the blue lemonade, you have to stir it. Okay, look at that, stunning. All right, we just finished up at Deadly Grounds. Seriously, as far as like a unique stock goes, that was probably the most unique. It was awesome. absolutely wild. Definitely like for fall, like you need to go around Halloween. Yeah. I'm sure, God, I loved it. And such a nice crew in there that really, really fit the vibe. I yeah. loved it in there. Anyway, she recommended this blue lemonade as like a nice, cool, unique uh, thing on the item. And she decided to stir it up, so. I already did mine. She did hers. I'm ahead of the game. This is it. I'm <laughs> looking forward to it. I know. All okay, right, cheers. Wow, tastes like a blue Sour Patch Kid. That's like right on. I know, <laughs> I know. It's impressive though. Brilliant. No, it's great. Wow, like refreshing, especially 30 degrees right now. <laughs> well, this we is, know. <laughs> this is what I'm looking for. All right, so Sophie and I just finished up the Clarington trip. Uh, in my opinion, this was my favorite trip we've done all year. I think it was the most unique and like kind of cool like there was just cool spots like, especially deadly grounds which was just cannot so get enough of it cannot crazy. get enough um i think that probably was like my favorite part i also liked uh rome coffee both of the coffee shops were great yeah um the apple orchards were cool too and i think the apple orchards specifically are gonna be insane in a couple weeks once like they I freshened agree. up for the fall fall october month yeah, but even the apples were, were great for not even, like, totally being in season yet, being a couple weeks out. So that was impressive as well. Um, no, definitely do this route if you're looking to get into the fall spirit. And definitely check out Clarington. They have the best fall places. And remember, on the weekend route, you can find this route on the... It's, it's, an, it's under the name Orchards, Corn Mazes, and Sweet Treats. And um, it's under the featured route setting. So you have to actually... So you guys that. can come take this route stop all these places and then let us know at hello at the weekend um your experience with the route and if you loved it and your favorite aspects of it and maybe you'll get featured and that's what we like to hear see you guys next time